Welcome to a look at the UK stocks. This is Lloyd's Banking Group. We've broken up through a major trend line here. I think I would buy this on a kiss if we get anywhere near around about the 31, 32 level. I would. I don't think we're going to come down to 30. Possible. We're at 34 at the moment. I don't think we'll get as low as that. I think we're going to get around to this level here. Uh, yes, the basic, basically the, the 200 EMA and you know, possibly lower. Yeah, if we if we if we if you see 32 on Lloyd Bank, I would buy it with a stop under 31. I'd, I'd put a stop at 29. I think Lloyd's Bank is a potential buy of that area there. You know, breakout of that nature is looking good. Let's just let's look at the data. Uh, yeah, looking at their balance sheet has turned around. I think it's time to get into that one. Excuse me. Uh, RBS. We have a lot of support here at 222. I would buy here with a stop under 198 to see if this can break out of this wedge. Break out of that wedge. I think we're going to move under this wedge for a a while. If we can close above 240, I think we could potentially get over a period of time get back up to 350, 360. Okay. Um, you might want to leave this. Just keep this on your watch list, just to make sure that we don't close below this early part next week. Uh, yeah. But if we start to move around in this box, I would buy pullbacks and then see if I can break out on RBS. Next one. Now into the oil, there's a lot of good oil stocks out there in the UK. So if you don't want to trade the commodity oil, this is another good way of doing it. 580. I like Dragon Oil for 580. Uh, balance sheet. Yeah, it's a, this is a P/E rate, a price earnings ratio of 7.72, and a peg of 1.37. This, this is a good stock. I'm very nervous about buying stocks that are not making money. Uh, moving on to gold. Uh, look at this one here. This is currently at about 4.37. I think this could break out of this wedge. The HOC hostile mining. I will be a buyer here on a break of 438 with a stop at just under 400. Their balance sheet is looking good. The P price earnings ratio of 13.3, so a little on the high side. So, oops, don't want to do that. AFR. This is a great oil stock. Again, a little expensive. Price earnings ratio is quite high. Watch out for a pullback to 125. So on AFR, look for 125 with a stop under 120. Because again, I think these charts, so we've got resistance under there. Uh, wait for it to pull back to that support and then buy. I would suggest you might want to buy. Cable and wireless. We'll come on to BT in a minute. Uh, that's got a lot of support there. I would hold fire on that one. I like the way the 50 and the 20 are coming through here. I think that's probably the 8. Uh, if, we, if you see 33, I will be a buyer of that one. Uh, Highland Gold, holding the 50 MA very, very well. Uh, it's it's a fairly cheap one. Great PE ratio. 
Um, if you are going to buy that one, I would, uh, I would buy it here at 115. If you can get 115, and I'll stop under 110. Aquarius, a platinum producer. I just like the bottoming pattern on here. It's 39.8p. Uh, if you can buy it there and get your stop just under about 34, I think that could, be, you know, it's had a long sell off, so it's risky. Uh, so it's relatively expensive after this long sell off, so be careful. Uh, yeah, there are better chances out of this, so maybe leave, let's leave that one. Coal of Africa, it's got a hammer, but again, that's had a big slide. I think we'll leave that one as well. Circle Oil, uh, I think this one is holding up really well. Uh, if you can get 18.5, I'd be a buyer with a stop under 17 to see if we can bust out of there. Uh, ACM, this is a computer company. I like a very clean chart. If you can buy at just delete that, try that again. You buy at 10.7, you'll just have a stop under 10, but again, I think that can bust up. Lovely clean chart, it's a penny stock. They are projected to make money, they're not making money at the moment, they're projected to make money. Baltic Oil, nope, don't like that one. Uh, Frontera, yeah, it's got potential, a bit messy. Oh, that's it. Uh, okay, some stocks I've missed there. Hang on a second. Uh, this is XEL. You can see it's had a massive move up here. It's had a lovely wave pattern up here. I've got very, very extended. You can see a lot of directors sold up here very useful uh, if you're watching UK stocks uh, and then you can see directors bought here once it came down to this level here there's a major support level here whoops let me do that uh, it's a major support level here uh, directors bought there so we've had yeah, a couple of waves down but we are looking as if we're bottoming now excuse me a second We're up to 92 here. Uh, if we see, let's have a look. Uh, if we see 90, I'll be a buyer of 90 with a stop under 80. Because I just think this one is getting ready to go. So the, the broken through a trend line, so we've got the um, ATMA coming through the 50. Yeah, if you're very patient and you see 85 on that one, I'll be a buyer at 85. I just think that's got, it is high at the moment. Just be patient, watch it, put an order in, and then let's just see if we can get around about the 85 level. Okay, hope that helps. And I will start to look at US stocks in the near future, but um, that's enough for now. Okay, happy trading.